Welcome to our next lesson on the bottle. In this lesson, we're going to be modeling the bottle handle. I'll insert a sketch on the front plane, take a normal two view. The reason I've created the neck first before creating the handle is so that I can see where the neck merges with the bottle. Let's activate the line tool. We'll drop a few lines as a rough shape for our handle. And let's right click and select to deactivate the line tool. Now let's apply some fillets to this corner and this corner. 20 millimeter radius and OK. Let's activate the offset entities tool now. We'll make it a 10 millimeter offset. For the options to check, ensure that select chain and bidirectional are checked, as well as make base construction and cap ends using the line method. And let's click OK. Exit the sketch, and let's take an isometric view. Activate the Boss Extrude tool, mid-plane extrusion of let's say 30 millimeters, tab key to accept. Let's uncheck Merge Result and then click OK. Now let's hide the bottleneck and the surface body. Surface Trim to Hide. We'll insert a sketch. Take a normal two view, activate the line tool, and let's close our profile. Right click and select to deactivate the tool. Let's place a center line now from the midpoint of this line to the origin point. Right click and select to close the tool. Select the center line at a horizontal relation. Smart Dimension tool. Let's say 20 millimeters for this dimension. And OK. Right click and select. Select the center line and shift select this edge. Add a collinear relation and click OK. I'll drop a rectangle about here. Something like this to enclose the entire. Exit the sketch. Take an isometric view. Activate the extruded cut tool through all for the end condition, and let's accept. Lastly, let's apply a fillet to our handle. Let's say of 8 millimeter radius here and there. A constant radius fillet. Let's make some selections on the other side. And let's accept. This concludes our lesson about modeling the handle.